Gross 83, and we are live in Woodstock, and it is a Thursday night, and tonight is the 14th anniversary of one of the greatest discoveries of my life. This discovery took place in a basement in a condo that I once lived in in a Chicago neighborhood called Rogers Park. What is going on with the White Sox? Oh, I don't know what happened with the White Sox game. It is tied 3-3 three to three in the 11th inning. But we're going to try not to concentrate on that. We're going to talk about this great event that happened 14 years ago, this glorious discovery that happened in Rogers Park, Illinois. This was probably one of the most glorious events of my life. And it involves my best friend, Z, who I have spoken about many times on this channel. She was doing prop design for a play. And she needed empty bottles of a very specific brand of beer. And she picked up a 12-pack of this beer. And she wanted me to drink this beer. And I had not had a good experience with this beer four years before in 2004. But being the loyal friend that I am, I said, okay, Z... I'll drink this beer, even if I don't like it, because that's what a good friend does. So what was this beer that I'm so excited about? Because if you subscribe to this channel, you know that I've reviewed stouts and porters and IPAs and sours and Pilsners and whatever kind of beer. But this beer may not be the most expensive. It may it's definitely not a craft beer. But this beer has been has never disapp well, I guess it did disappoint me once. Since my to, since 2008, this beer has never disappointed me. And I will drink this beer. That This is one beer I will drink for the rest of my life. If this is the only beer left, I will drink this beer for the rest of my life. This is a glorious beer, and it is often criticized as a hipster beer, but I don't think you have to be a hipster to drink it, because I don't think I classify as a hipster. Maybe some people think I do, but I find that very doubtful. But we are going to finally reveal what wonderful beer I am talking about. And yeah, I know I did I did a tribute to this beer last year, two years ago, but guess what? Every year, August 25th, every year, I'm going to talk about this beer because this has special meaning to me. 
So on August 25th, there will be a video every year on this sensational, wonderful American logger. This is true America, this beautiful beer that I and millions of other people love. And here it is. Get ready for this reveal of this beautiful beer that I am celebrating my 14th anniversary of discovering tonight, right now. Here it is, this glorious, beautiful, delicious, sensational beer. Here we are. That's right. Paps Blue Ribbon. Or PBR, if you will. Now, PBR is a budget beer. It is not supposed to take taste like Bourbon County Stout or Revolution Deepwoods Barrel Aged Stout. It is not supposed to taste like Stone Anniversary IPA. It is not supposed to taste like the finest Pilsner in the land. Because it is a budget beer. What it is supposed to taste like is something cool and refreshing that you can drink whether it's 110 degrees out or, well, not 100 below because that's a little crazy, but you can drink it in 100 degree heat or if it's 30 or 40 below zero, you can drink this beer any season, all seasons, and it will be refreshing and just beautiful and glorious. But now let's get into it because I was not going to have a beer tonight because I'm going to the world away tomorrow. And honestly, if I would have checked my memories earlier, which is my fault, because I did know this day was coming up at some point, if I would have checked my memories earlier, I probably would have gone to Whirl Away and had a PBR with Maria and whoever was out there. Maria, of course, is the owner of Whirl Away Lounge. She's owned it since 1980. 40 two years she's owned that beautiful neighborhood <coughs> bar. Good. Oh, Orioles just got a hit. That doesn't look good. But let's pour this beauty. And we are pouring it. And I was not going to have it today. Now this is beautiful. Take a look at this. Yes, this is the American classic, PBR. I seriously doubt that you can get more American than I am right now. I've got a beer with a red, white, and blue label, and I've got baseball on the TV. If anybody right now is more patriotic and American than me, well, I will need proof because this is what America is all about. Baseball and Paps Blue Ribbon Beer. Let's get a sip of this glorious, beautiful, sensational beer. Mm. 
Yes. Nice and refreshing. Goes down easy. Some people say PBR doesn't have a good flavor. I disagree. Some people say it doesn't have any flavor. I definitely disagree with that. And I think the White Sox just lost. And the Orioles just won. So, as usual, the White Sox gain a little ground and then they lose it. What a... Jeez. Terrible. But I kind of like the Orioles too, so I'm not super upset. But still, I'd rather have the White Sox win. But Orioles get cool uniforms. But this is my yearly tribute to PBR, which I think is 14 years. Because 2008 to 18 is 10, and the 19, 20, 21, 22. So yes, I believe it is 14 years since I've discovered PBR. So next year, I think it will be 15, or maybe this year is 15. Somebody let me know if it's 14 or 15, 2008 to 2022. Because I'm, I'm not really sure. Because I'm not good in math. Well, that PBR. And this is gross 83. A little sad because the home team lost. But happy because I'm going to have a, an unexpected PBR. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. What a great way to end the day. Thank you, everybody. And go out.